overall, yeah, living away from Wales is very different for me, but yeah, I've, I've adapted quite well, I think, and I've enjoyed it. I think no one could have imagined how big it would have went. And at the time, you know, people are unsure with owners and whether they're in it for the long term or not, but I think the owners there have, uh, have made substantial progress and I think uh, they can safely say that they've built for the future of that football club. It was bittersweet for me, yeah, because I was obviously playing, which was great. Um, and to play in that game was massive. And at the time, the likes of Gabby and Ashley Young and all them were coming through, and it was uh, it was an exciting time for Villa. And at Wrexham, we were just delighted to to get the tie. But obviously, yeah, it was it was a very difficult match, but one I still look upon quite fondly. Yeah, he was one of them we, we thought could still play in the number 10 role, 100%. Uh, just floating around, wouldn't have to run too much. Um, he embarrassed a few people in training. A few of us wondered how we, uh, how we managed to put up with our, our sort of level of ability. But I think, uh, yeah, as a manager, he was very calm. Um, never raised his voice or got too angry. Um, just liked the team to play beautiful football. And I think uh, the team obviously done very well under him. The best thing is, without a doubt, being able to do the job that, that you love and being able to go to work every day knowing you're doing something that you love and um, not, not everybody in life gets the opportunity to do something like that, you know, often life is about paying the bills and we're lucky that we, uh, we get to do the thing we love at the same time. Michu was very good. Um, in the year, obviously, he got the, I think it was 20 plus goals, he was unbelievable and I think uh, he had a great season that year and he was, a, he was a good find for the club, he was another one, Laudrup pulled about three or four out of um, out of the, 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 the lower tiers of Spain and I think um, they turned out to be very, very good players and it proves that players from different level are able to, to, to make it in this league. I think Watford are proving that now at the moment with some of the players they've got in the Premier League. And I think Michu had a great year and he's very unfortunate, um, but like a lot of footballers, injury can sometimes uh, stifle your career. I think the Benteke time, uh, he, was, he was always a thorn in our side. He's a really good manager, yeah. He's um, he's one of them honest honest British managers, which um, I, you know, I highly think of. I think it's great to work underneath him, and I think the players really, really enjoy it. Um, and I think he's a very good man manager as well, and he, he's, he's almost exactly what probably you would look for um, in a manager. Um, I mean, I've got I've got three kids, so I think uh, that keeps me occupied enough. Um, but, but spending time with the kids, yeah, is, is mostly what I do away from football. I think Wonderwall and, and Don't Look Back in Anger are the two obvious ones. Um, and Liam Gallagher moving on now is doing his own stuff, so I think his his latest wall of glass is, is pretty good as well. So I think it's just it's his singing more than anything. Well, he's one of the best in the world, 100%. Uh, the best I think I've seen um, myself, the best I've played with, and the best I've probably played against. I think he's, uh, yeah, he's that, he's that phenom phenomenon we, we get in football sometimes, and uh, yeah, he's a pleasure to, to have in our team. Well, I think I think for, for Villa it'd be a massive thing. I think for us as players, we're enjoying having him in the minute for Man United. There's a reason he's he's been kept by that football club for many years. It's because he's a keeper with great potential. And now, not only potential, he's now he's now producing it. And I think he's a he's a classic case of a young lad being faith shown in him, and he's showing what he can really do. And uh, long may that continue for us. I'm sure he'll be hoping for a successful season here, like us. And if we can keep him beyond that, then yeah, that obviously makes sense. I think it's, I think it's a, it's a couple of boundaries really. Maybe Asians maybe don't see a path through into football like other people do. And, and, and on the flip side of it, I think the mentality. From, from Asian players and Asian families maybe needs to change a little bit um, on how they view sports as a career maybe long term. I think uh, education is a massive thing in the Asian community and, and how they do at school and I think sometimes you have to uh, you have to yeah go for your dreams sometimes which is which is difficult but uh, you have to do it and I think um, yeah there's, there's various reasons but I think over the next coming years we're going to see more. You'd have to hope so. It's got a long way to go before it gets the, the, the proper infrastructure for a World Cup. That's a massive thing to try and host. Um, but I think with the, with the, the IPL going on uh, and the stadiums are improving and the football's improving all the time, and it's, it's a nation with a billion people, so uh, the scope is there 100% to do it. 
Um, and we, you know, like I said, the first steps are being made and you've got to hope in the future it can be done. Sam Johnson, you say, you say Chesy. He's my Wales, I've got to pick him. Albert on current form. Codger. Let's go for... Let's go for Glenn, put a bit of steel in there.